Okay, the budget is on Tuesday night and as is now the norm, much of the content has actually been leaked to the media. There are handouts galore for power price relief, a problem which originally I'll point out was caused by foolish government policies. There's more money for health and aged care. There's likely tax rises for the resource industry, which will help kill the golden goose of the Australian economy. There's more money for those on welfare, including rent assistance, which I point out won't be much help when the next one million migrants arrive here all wanting places to live over the next few years. The NDIS, which is rapidly uh, becoming the biggest budget item in history, it's going to be reformed so that it only grows at 8% per year. And this is going to be done by spending an extra $720 million on staff. Yeah, there's more taxpayers' money to help non-savers buy a home, more money for the bread and circuses of the AFL, there's more money for the arts, there's more money for the environment, more money for childcare. In fact, there's almost nothing but handouts. Well, that's what's been released so far. The likely bad news will be hidden in the fine print, which I suspect is going to target small business, those of us that are employed, and people not yet dependent on government.